After his first cowardly shot from behind Chris's back, he had options. No forgiveness for a murder and no remorse. A Sunnyside man heads to prison for killing his fiance. Action News anchor Corin Hogger joins us now from the newsroom with the tragic images still haunting her family. Corin? Yeah, Warren Stanley Pipes called his comments today a statement of contrition, but even the judge said it didn't sound like the man was at all remorseful. And Pipes now heads to prison with echoes of anger from his victim's family. Yes. Stanley Pipes had one last chance Monday to try and make amends for murdering Christy Clausen in December 2015. And he spent a few minutes highlighting her virtues. I loved her so, and I still love her. As strange as that may sound to some. But there was in fact a tarnished flip side to this very shiny coin. The other side of the coin to Pipes was the woman he murdered. The woman he says plotted to destroy him and his family. He admitted he had no right to kill her and said since his arrest he's refound his faith and feels both God and Clausen have forgiven him. He asked the same of her family, but they weren't receptive. That the crime that was perpetrated against my sister by the defendant, Stanley Pipes, was a brutally heinous and cowardly act of violence. Susan Hansen remembered her sister as a beautiful, artistic, and creative woman who loved the holidays and decorated her home for all of them. But her violent death deprived Hansen of a final chance to see Clausen. She's left with just ashes and the haunting image of Pipes shooting her from behind, then choosing to keep shooting. As Chris laid on the floor, gasping for breath, he finished what he had started by unloading his 357 Magnum at point blank range into my sister's face and chest. Pipes turns 57 years old tomorrow. He'll serve a sentence of 40 years to life, but he'll be eligible for an elderly parole after 25 years when he's 82. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News.